It was a Sunday and he'd gone out to race and I was on my way out to go shopping in the car and I got a phone call to say that Simon had had an incident. It was just a normal race, a circuit race around Outer Harbour and I was in a breakaway with another, with another cyclist and we're probably about 200 metres, 300 metres in front of a chasing pack of about six or seven other people and felt all of my energy draining out of my body basically very quickly and I had to stop uh, right there and then on the side of the road, um, put my bike down but then didn't even have enough energy to sit up so I had to lay down and then I suppose I passed out and the next thing I know I was in the back of the ambulance. Well the first doctor that he saw in emergency um they had to find out what um, was actually wrong with Simon's heart. They worked out that it wasn't the plumbing of his heart, he had no blockages in his arteries or something, it was the electrical side of the heart. So he was admitted under the care of Richard Hillock. The impact of a diagnosis for an individual is not just for that individual, it's really important that we consider what happens in a more broad family group but also their uh, friends and family who will be providing them support. We knew that there was something seriously wrong for him to have had a cardiac arrest. So um, I think that is what impacted on me the most was the fact that, um, you know, I, I found out that he'd actually died at the scene and uh, been revived. During the hospital stays, Simon was in hospital for about five days. And during those days, tests like coronary angiograms, echocardiograms, electrical tests, an MRI, and finally implanting a defibrillator were all taken within that short time frame. Obviously it's a very difficult time for Simon, but equally Simon's wife Nadine was at home with the young children, and it was important that we meet with Simon and Nadine to go through what was happening so that she understood what was happening and so that she could reassure the children. You know, as an amateur athlete, all I wanted to do was get on the bike. And, and Richard, as a cyclist himself, was very aware of um, what was going through my mind and tailored, I suppose, between the two of us, we tailored a um, rehabilitation program to the point where, in a very, very closely monitored um, situation or environment, um, he got me back into cycling. Um, and then back into racing, so which was very important for me. So that's the impact on my life now. Is I've got a defibrillator, and on top of my defibrillator, I've got I've have to take medication, and I don't want to take medication. But um, I, I realise that I have to do it, uh, not just for my sake, but for my family's sake as well. So I can be selfish and say, well, I don't want to do it, but I've got to think about my family. You know, Nadine, my wife, will tell you that the care that we received is a massive um, contributor to getting back on with life, if you like. <laughs>